Our movie begins with a boy named Cole who is in school. The doctor gives him a vaccination, but Cole is very afraid of the needle. He hesitates for a long time before finally taking the shot. We learn that Cole is a student in middle school and is prone to bullying from other students because he is afraid of everything. He is always anxious and afraid to try new things in his life. He has only one friend, Melanie, who is also his neighbor, and they spend most of their time together. After school, Melanie's father picks them up, and Cole finds him to be a very strange person who loves vintage cars. When Melanie asks her father to give Cole a ride, he refuses and leaves Cole behind. On his way home, Cole encounters his friend Jeremy and his bullies, who taunt and beat him. However, a beautiful girl named May, who is the babysitter for Cole's younger siblings, appears and surprises everyone. May takes Cole with her in the car to help him get home safely. She encourages him to be brave and stand up for himself. Cole arrives home to find his mother catching mice under the house. He questions her bravery, but she explains that his age brings about changes and fears, assuring him that he will grow more confident. As Cole continues to grow, he faces the challenge of learning to drive. He is always anxious and fearful, coming up with various excuses to avoid learning. He even tells his father about a magazine article claiming that 10 people die every day in car accidents, trying to use fear to avoid driving. Cole's father realizes the impact of fear and anxiety on his son's life. After learning to drive, Cole discovers that it helps him control his nerves. Over time, he becomes more proficient, and when they return home, his father attempts to fix the car calmly. His mother expresses concern that he might hurt himself with the tools. The family dynamics contribute to Cole's increasing fear as they are overly protective, amplifying his anxiety. The next day, Cole informs Melanie that his parents are away, and May, the babysitter, will stay with him until they return. Melanie suggests that May will invite her friends over to keep him company. Cole doubts this, but Melanie insists that May will bring her friends, and he should stay up to sea. Upon returning home, Cole finds his family preparing to travel. May arrives, and they instruct her on Cole's eating and sleeping schedules as if he were a small child. They emphasize the importance of keeping the noise down for Cole to sleep well. Once his family leaves, Cole and May have a dance party, swim in the pool, eat, dance some more, and watch a movie in the garden. At bedtime, May suggests that Cole should drink whiskey to help him sleep. Cole agrees, and May goes to the kitchen to prepare the drink. However, Cole pretends to have drunk it when she returns, then goes to his room to sleep. May checks on him, ensuring that he's asleep. Despite the abnormal situation, Cole appreciates May treating him normally. Later, Cole hears noises in the house and messages Melanie to confirm his suspicions. Melanie confirms that May did indeed bring friends over. Cole decides to investigate, and Melanie advises him to go downstairs to see what's happening. Indeed, he goes down and finds Mai with her friends, including a person named Sam whom he knows. Sam is very surprised because his appearance suggests that he is different from them. They start playing a game of executing commands. When it's Mai's turn, her friend tells her to choose between honesty or executing the commands. She chooses to execute the commands and is asked to kiss everyone present. Mai indeed kisses everyone until it's Sam's turn. Sam tells them that he has just met them and doesn't want to do that. Mai asks him to trust her and tries to calm him down. She takes off her glasses, kisses him, and calls it their watcher's attention. After Mai kisses Sam, two fangs appear, and she hits him in the head. Her friends bring glasses to collect the blood, and everyone, including Sam, is terrified. Sam tries not to make any noise. After Mai and her friends leave, Sam rushes to his room, composes himself, calls for help, and provides the address. He finds a knife and tries to escape, but the distance is far. He hears Mai and her friends pretending to sleep and taking a sample of his blood. Mai reassures her friends, saying she drugged him with whiskey. After Mai's friends leave the room, she notices that the window is open, suspects that Cole is awake, and thinks he might use the bed sheets to escape through the window. Cole, however, is afraid of the height and struggles to control his nerves. Suddenly, Mai appears from behind him, and he loses consciousness. When he wakes up, 
He finds himself tied to a chair, and Mai is there and her friends are in front of him, suspecting that he saw everything that happened to Sam. But Cole pretends that he doesn't know anything and talks to Mai as usual. He asks her why she brought him here and pulls out the knife he has with him, telling her that he will tell his family that she was a party planner so they won't suspect anything. Mai tells him that she took a sample of his blood for a scientific experiment. Cole questions why he didn't drink the drink, and Mai says she knew he was afraid of injections, so she drugged him. She asks him why he didn't drink the whiskey, and he says he doesn't like whiskey and did it to appear brave in front of her. He is still cutting the rope when Allison, Mai's friend, sees the knife. Cole looks behind him and is surprised to see a mirror. After making sure that he didn't see anything, Mai asks Sonia, her friend, to untie him. Before she unties him, the police arrive, infuriating Mai. The police break in, and Mai's friends attack one of them with an iron rod. Before he falls, he shoots Allison. John tries to distract the police until Mai comes from behind and kills him, reassuring Allison. She asks them to take her to the hospital, and Cole finally cuts the rope, running quickly to his room, leaving Allison behind. Alex tries to catch Cole, but he uses the rope and jumps from the window. The rope is short, and he can't go down. Alex pulls the rope, and Cole decides to leave it, running quickly to the house's storage to get away from him. However, he finds Sam's and Kozal's bodies and searches for anything useful in the storage, finding a lighter and a toy rocket. He goes down to the basement to take cover. Sonia sees him, follows him, and enters the basement. Cole lights the toy rocket and throws it at her. However, she doesn't get close to him. She tries to approach him, but Cole seizes the opportunity and escapes using a spray bottle filled with gas. He reaches the basement where the rocket is, and the entire basement explodes, killing Sonia. As Cole stands there, he finds Alex behind him. Cole runs away, and Alex chases him, trying to catch him. Alex tries to use the move Mai told him about, but Cole manages to escape. Suddenly, they hear a strange sound from outside, and Cole asks about the noise. Alex tells him it's Jeremy, their neighbor who always bullies him. Alex leaves him and confronts Jeremy, attempting to retaliate for what he did. However, Jeremy hits him with a single blow. Cole tells him that there's a gang in the house, and they need to escape. Jeremy agrees, but then mocks him and bullies him again before leaving. The police enter, and Cole runs and tries to hit Jeremy, but Jeremy easily knocks him down. Cole informs him that there's a gang in the house, and they need to escape. After agreeing, Jeremy mocks Cole, bullies him again, and leaves. Alex returns, chasing Cole, who runs to the treehouse, breaking the ladder so Alex can't follow. Still, Alex manages to reach him, trying to save him. However, the wood beneath Alex's foot breaks, and Alex struggles to hold the rope. The rope tightens around his neck, and he dies. Cole is relieved that he's dead, but scared at the same time. Then, he doesn't chase after him with the shotgun. However, Cole escapes and enters Melanie's house. Mai follows them into the house, but Cole takes Melanie into the bathroom, tells her everything, and says he will protect her. Cole leaves the house to keep Mai away from Melanie. He enters his house and finds Allison tied to a chair, unconscious. In the kitchen, he finds the book they had, but suddenly, Allison attacks him. He tries to find the knife, but Allison has already reached it and wants to kill him. Suddenly, Mai arrives and shoots her in the head. Cole threatens Mai that he will burn the book if she comes near him and he asks her why she does that. She tells him that they kill young people like Sam, take their blood, mix it with the blood of innocent children, and put it on the book. After they complete their rituals, the book fulfills all their wishes. Mi exposes to him that they will contact the police and inform them that a gang has invaded the house and killed their friends. She tells him that they will stay together as if nothing happened. However, Cole tells her that he has a better plan. He ignites the book quickly, rushes out of the house, and Mi screams, trying to save the book. Cole manages to drive Melanie's car, enters the house, and comes out of the car to find Mi dying on the ground. 
Cole tells her that he loved her and did everything she asked of him, as if she betrayed him, and he cries. Me dies, and the police finally arrive. Cole managed to protect himself, turned into a brave person, and reached Jeremy and his friends, who couldn't believe what Cole had done. Everyone respects him for his bravery that he gained after overcoming all his fears. And here ends our movie story. If you liked the film, I hope you subscribe to the channel, support us with a like, and see you in the next movie. Goodbye.